Welcome to the Cyber Center for Biblical Studies. Hi, my name is Herb Bateman. Today we're going to have a celebration of sorts, and Scott Barger, uh, pastor of New Horizon Community Church, is here to celebrate with us. Scott, welcome. Well, thanks, Herb. Thanks for having me. And so we're celebrating. Yeah. What are we in, in a celebration of sorts? What are we celebrating? Well, we're celebrating the one-year anniversary for the Cyber Center for Biblical Studies. One year ago, uh, we set up and placed into motion the Cyber Center with a, first a website and our first video. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been one year since we've done our first video. Mm -hmm. Do you remember our first video? I do. Some, some things, Herb, are burned in one's memory, and you never <laughs> really ever forget them. But... <laughs> We've uh, come a long way, right? We have come a long I way. I think so. Uh, that was uh, that first video that we produced, and my my uh, my wife did a very nice job, but we were somewhat rookies at it. Uh -huh. And uh, when we posted the video, I got several uh, phone calls from good friends who offered some constructive criticism. <laughs> one of which was, "Get rid of the suit. Lose the suit, man. <laughs> Lose the suit." And Get out from behind that desk. <laughs> right. It so, did feel like you're at an interview for a very important and somber job. <laughs> that, that is true. So we, we've made a few of those adjustments. Yep. And of course, you've been very instrumental well, in uh, some of our uh, video adjustments and uh, uh, progress that we have made, for which I'm entirely and, uh, um, grateful for, Scott. Oh, sure. So... Uh, as a year has gone by, we had uh, at the outset we had um, some goals, some things we wanted to accomplish from the vid with the videos, and you had some goals of things that you wanted to uh, accomplish at the Cyber Center. Um, what were some of those objectives you had at the beginning? Um, have they changed? Have you achieved the things you've set out to accomplish? Uh, what do you think as you evaluate your first year in this new venture? Well, initially our thoughts were to um, be a resource center. A resource center for pastors and students uh, that will help uh, contribute to their ability to work smarter, not mm -hmm. harder. And we, um, so one of the um, objectives was in order to achieve that big goal was to, um, to do videos. Mm -hmm. And so we have tried to every 15 days post a video that um, would contribute uh, to this idea of helping and being a resource for pastors. Um, the other thing uh, that we wanted to do was, of course, um, uh, make available books that have been published uh, um, that uh, focus on uh, helping a pastor do work in, within his study. Uh, we created an e-book for translating the New Testament. Uh, our first one is uh, behind me, uh, Translating Jude Clause by Clause. And um, we also wanted to make sure we posted um, journal articles or articles that are being written um, by myself, by pastors, by other um, uh, scholars. And we've done that as well. Uh, Tim Sprangle, uh, pastor of Leesburg Grace Brethren Church, has posted a, an article entitled The Inconspicuous Atom, which we have videoed and hosted. He has uh, uh, been here to introduce that, that uh, paper. So these were some of the uh, objectives uh, that make that bigger goal of being a resource center for uh, for pastors. Good. And so, if you had to give yourself a letter grade in terms of accomplishing the objectives, the things you tried to accomplish when you first set out, how do you think you're doing? Well, um, I will give myself a B. A good B. I, I'll give myself A's a B. are hard to get. A's are hard man. to get, man. You, I mean, you got to really work hard to earn an A. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I would say that um, I think we've done pretty well. Uh, you know, well, rough started, but I think we've done pretty well. Um, we currently uh, host uh, uh, two videos a month. We really were only shooting for one, but we currently are doing two. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was more than just bottom line average. We, we, we pushed the envelope a sure. little. Um, as far as translating uh, the e-books, translating uh, the uh, New Testament um, clause by clause, uh, we got that done. We've got several people lined up uh, for um, other works, which we'll talk about later on. Um, but yeah, I would say that um, um, 
I will give myself, I, I will give the Cyber Center for Biblical Studies a B for their first year. Sure, sure. I, I'd give you a B minus, but a, a little bit of a bump for personality. Okay. To a B. So that, that's good. <laughs> so uh, it's been a, a bit of productive first year by our evaluation, by your evaluation. But what does the, ne- the, the coming years hold? What, what does the future hold for the Cyber Center? Well, as we think about uh, the future for the Cyber Center, we want to expand in doing a, a conference. So we'll be hosting a conference in September, uh, uh, Let's Know the Bible. And the idea is to provide an opportunity for pastors who, who as part of their mission for their church and for their leaders, is to know the Bible and be able to teach the Bible. And, uh, and a lot of times pastors work that into their sermon prep and they do try to teach the Bible, but it's not really a, a it isn't a, a a concerted, focused period of time. So much is going on during a worship service. So this conference is meant to come alongside of a pastor to be a resource for a pastor where he can bring elders or deacons or Sunday school teachers to a conference where the whole focus is learning about the Bible. Let's learn about the Bible. And it's a, it's a group learning experience. So a pastor brings seven folks they can come to a conference. They get to hear this conference that goes from eight o'clock to one o'clock, and afterwards go to lunch and discuss about what they heard. Mm-hmm. So this first conference that we're doing is um, God's big picture, and we're going to go from Genesis to Revelation, and we're going to look at how it is that God is in the process of reestablishing His kingdom rule on earth, and to redeem a people to enter into that kingdom, sure. and just seeing how God has laid out that program. So we get a big mega story, the yeah. big picture of what it is that sure. God's doing. Uh, so that's this year's conference, and of course there'll be others conferences. So that's that's a future event that's coming up uh, as we go into our second year. It sounds sounds like it's a, a it would be a good complement for uh, the the preaching and teaching ministry of any church if you value uh, learning the Bible and understanding the Bible. This would kind of augment what is already happening in some of these churches. And do you have some churches interested? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, currently we have um, eight churches that have uh, Uh stepped up to the plate and sponsored, uh, willing to sponsor the conference. Uh, Kriegel uh, Publishing has wants to has uh, made a uh, an offer to be a sole sponsor for Mm -hmm. the for the conference, a a major uh, sponsor for the conference, and we have some other book distributors or publishers that are also sponsoring. So yeah, I mean it's it's. um, it uh, looks like it's a it's a good deal. So it looks very. We're moving into the moving from an A to a B for next year. That's what we're from moving. a B to I an was A. I'm sorry. You got to yeah, set yeah. the bar a little bit higher, B. <laughs> so it's, it's, the conference sounds interesting. We're looking forward to that coming up in just a, a couple of months. Uh, but tell me a little bit. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the uh, Cyber Center E Journal. What's that all about? Your uh, plans for that? The Cyber Center E Journal is uh, an opportunity for for pastors who. Um, who study beyond the sermon, uh, pastors who perhaps might present a paper at the Evangelical Theological Society, whether it be on the national level or on the mid, uh, on the regional level, and if their if their work is uh, good, uh, uh, good caliber, quality, reflects thoughtful, uh, thoughtfully about the material, identifies the fact that they understand the material that they're grappling with and the subject they're grappling with. We like to have a, a, a venue for them to publish uh, within, a, within a journal. It's not a homily type journal that a, a, a pastor would typically publish in. It's more of a scholarly journal for, for a pastor. It's also an opportunity for up and coming um, uh, evangelical scholars that may be uh, reading papers at uh, the regional and national level. Give them an entry level into publishing. Um, generally, it's hard to get into publishing if no right. one knows you. But this is an entry level for a good stepping stone. A stepping stone yeah. for. Them. And then uh, there will be other uh, articles that we like to get published. Those who have been tr- uh, articles that are translated into another language, uh-huh. um, uh, because we do uh, have an international audience that uh, tunes into our website, um, right. um, Brazil, um, um, Central America, some countries in Central America. Hungary, uh, mm-hmm. we have one journal article being translated into Hungarian, and it will be posted on our website for those who uh, who come 
uh, and visit our website from Hungary. And, um, and so uh, we, do, we are trying to think big picture and recognizing that internationally there are pastors out there that don't have the same advantages that we do. Sure. And so we want to tap into um, those um, uh, cultures, those countries, um, and be a, a, um, a source of help for them as well. And so we want to be sensitive and perhaps put some materials out there in their own language that sure. would be encouraging to them. Sure. Um, yeah, and then the other thing I think, um, and I, I forget how this question began, uh, I, I do want to emphasize the fact that the e-books for translating the New Testament are sure. coming along. So we have Philippians. Um, that Already is, finished, Philippians. Uh, it's coming along. Coming It'll on. be out uh, 2015 uh, in the spring. Yeah. Galatians will be finished 2015 in the spring. Ephesians will be done uh, 2015 in the spring. So there are three uh, e-books for translating the New Testament. Uh, Philippians done by Tom Moore. Galatians done by James McGahee. And Ephesians done by uh, Ben Simpson. Uh, and uh, these are all men who, uh, who teach and work in these, uh, in these books. And they'll be a step-by-step -step guide for helping people translate through those books. Sure. So uh, that's another thing to be looking forward to as we move into our well, year sure. two. For second our cyber year cyber. of this. Second year. So yeah, we're, we're pretty excited. Um, conference, journal, and the e-books for translating the New Testament. So they are some of the publication things that we're doing alongside of videos like these. Great. Well, a, a productive first year. And let's hope that year two is as productive as year one was, huh? Uh, yeah, a little more so. A little more so. A little so. more Let's so. Let's shoot for that B+. Plus, huh? All right, going for that B+. Plus. B plus. We're going to step it up a notch. And, um, uh, but uh, but I, I, I would be wrong if I did not stop and pause, Scott, mm -hmm. to say thank you. It would be wrongful of me not mm -hmm. to thank you and, and just share publicly uh, my appreciation of you and all the help that you have been. Uh, not just filming and uh, editing uh, these videos, uh, but also uh, the friendship we've developed, your feedback, uh, your constructive way of pushing me in directions that perhaps uh, I feel a little uncomfortable in mm -hmm. and about. Uh, but um, yes, you've been a big help. Uh, you've, uh, you, you are responsible for moving me from a C to a B. How oh, do you like there that? You go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm expecting my commission check any day now. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. We'll get right to that. Uh, well, it's been it's been a lot of fun uh, doing it. Uh, have been involved in a lot of areas, but not makeup. Makeup has not been my department. Yeah, we can blame that on somebody else. That's but. right, and that's why we still get the glare. <laughs> but yeah, it's it, it's been good and and a, a, a lot of fun. So. Uh, yeah, thank you, her, You're for welcome. taking the time and for doing this little. I feel like we should have a cake, yeah, yeah, we or, or some a candle, or or cupcake you know, with a candle, or something, something like yeah. that. But you're just going to have to settle for a, an, an attaboy. An attaboy, yeah. <laughs> well, um, for those of you, thank you for joining us and joining in our celebration. Uh, one year uh, of uh, this, the existence of uh, the Cyber Center for Biblical Studies, and we hope that you will join us as we continue to progress into our second year. And be looking forward uh, for some of our publications and this upcoming conference. Once again, thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.